Hi there and welcome to the third part of my What's New in Plant 3D 2022 series. Okay, so the third part is uh, based around the new additions to the Plant 3D isometric drawing configuration. Okay, so in the past we had to um, use a mixture of the project settings. So you'd enter into the project setup and then you would uh, browse to the isometric drawing settings and you'd configure some of the settings for your isometric drawing within here uh, but not all the settings were configurable from here so you would have to then browse to the isometric configuration file which I've got a shortcut for here so I'll just open file location um, so you would browse to your isometric folder in your isometric folder you'll find the different styles that you have for this particular project I've got my Mana Machine A2 style here and in there you've got an ISO config um, XML file and uh, any settings that you couldn't configure from within the Plant 3D project setup you could um, configure and tweak from within this file here I'll just open it up and show you a little bit so I've opened it up here in an application that I use called First Object XML Editor there's obviously many applications out there that you can use this one is just my preferred one but in here you can you know you can see the different theme settings for dimensions you know you've got the different settings for tables in here so you've got the different schemes for bill of materials and you see the this particular application just gives me this browser on the left hand side and allows me to edit the XML file a little bit easier than maybe using just a notepad for example okay you've got column mappings here what what's the column map to you can see part number is mapped to ID quantity is mapped to QTY etc etc so yeah you could yeah you know, there is um, uh, a PDF you'll find uh, quite easily on the web, uh, demystifying plant 3D isometrics, um, which explains to you and, and runs through this whole XML and how to edit it. Um, obviously, that that's fine, but it was a bit of a pain in the, in the a pain in the backside, um, you know, because you'd have to close down plant 3D to edit this file to to save the changes. Um, so you close down plant 3D in the project, edit the file, make some tweaks save the file open up the plan 3d again and test your tweaks make sure they work and make sure you haven't broken the xml file um so that was the old way of doing it but now um now we have this new button in the top right corner here um, which actually allows us to edit that xml file directly from within plan 3d inside the project setup so you've got pretty much the same browser on the left here um you know and there you've got the ability to look at the same settings just with a, a you know a nice user interface or a nicer interface than than um than just working with an xml file on its own um you know you'd have to sort of cross reference a little bit i, I haven't done too much delving to see if there's any sort of tutorials on this interface and how it correlates with the xml file um it's all new obviously it's just come out 2022 version so even myself I'm gonna to have to have a little look around this and um, just familiarize myself with how you know how this is all formatted um, and uh, how to edit it correctly uh, but what we should be getting rid of here is the worry that we are gonna break the XML file you know if you put a, a, put a, a bit of text in where you shouldn't a space in where you shouldn't a quotation mark where you shouldn't you could essentially break the whole XML file um, and you know, for that reason, I always made backups of my XML file before editing them. Uh, but th using this, it should do away with that issue. Um, also, it, it's doing away with the issue of having to close and open uh, Plant 3D before running your tests, you know, making changes and running your tests. So that kind of does away with that as well, which is obviously a benefit there. So you've got different uh, options here for your bomb table and you can see what column headers are in here we can pick in here and start changing these different header uh, labels different header names you know it, it all works in exactly the same way um, we just got to get used to this new um, this new uh, interface basically uh, but once we're used to it I can see there's huge benefits to it really it's, it's going to be a lot of time saving when you're configuring your isometrics Yep, so that brings me to the end of my three-part series of what's new in Plant 3D 2022. I hope you've enjoyed watching them. 
Um, and as always, please feel free to contact Mana Machine if you've got any questions. Thanks again. Take care. Bye.